Hi, today I'm going to go through the, the full range of exercises I've been doing over the last few weeks. So when I thought about what I want to do, it actually feels like circuits. So I have them running around the hall here. So I'm going to just start off with some of the stuff I started within a day or so of coming out of plaster and start moving up in difficulty. So the first few you can do really from day one and then maybe it's four days, four, five, six and so on, you can progress on to uh, some of the other ones. So first one is with the band, uh, resistance band. You just simply, as you see I have it there. And all I'm going to do here is get the leg up on one side and then do the same on the other side. With that side, and make sure it's the uh, ankles doing the work. And then on that side, so the resistance does make that a bit difficult. And just keep doing that. Okay, then use the bomb itself. And again, this is one I do at home and in work, so it's very easy. Yeah, you can do it anywhere. You just really pull it on. So you feel it on the calf here. So do that hold for a few seconds. You can do that for 10 seconds, then release. Maybe do that 10 times. Hold. Feel on the calf and then release. Another way of doing this one is the same thing again. The only difference this time now is you're pushing your toes away so you get even more resistance. So push your toes away and again hold it. Again, you're feeling a bit on the, the bottom of the foot, but also you should be feeling some under here. And again, when you're doing that, maybe do that 10 times. So it's really the same one as before, but just you're pushing your toes away. So that's the time you're pushing against it, as opposed to the last time, there's no, there's no resistance from you. What you also would use, if you're stuck, I'm not really going to demonstrate this too much with the, because there's no shoe on, is you can do the same thing, um, see that way first of all, so you can pull that towards you, and hold it, and you can do the same thing, this time you actually push your toes against the, the crutch handle itself. Uh, the other way is to get somebody to use the band and pull from the other side or the other way to do that is is just to push down here. So you have first one to push and hold, say do that 10 times and then do the same thing again but this time you push your feet back towards you so you're putting more resistance on the on the handle of the crutch. So you can use the band that with the help of someone else. If you're going to to help you can just use the crutches. So really good those ones. And you can do them as I say anywhere. So moving on, so just have to the side here. Just going to bring the stopwatch over. It's really useful to have. First we're going to do it's just the one we've been doing all along. It's just the, the stir lunges or the step lunges. So feel up, get it straight, always try and keep the feet straight. And push and hold for a few seconds. Off and down. On again, push. And hold for a few seconds. You start feeling the strain, even at the ankle and on the calf. And off again. And again, that one, you should look to do it about 10 times. Next one here is the frame. You can do this against the frame, or even on a, on a chair. If you don't have access to any of those, you can even use your, your crutches to do that. So I'm just going to move on down to this. This frame is actually quite good if you have one of these. Crutches first of all. Okay, so there's a few exercises we can do here. So the first one, okay, can you see my feet okay there? Yeah. And get in the dog. So the first one we're going to do is just get up on our toes as high as we can. And we're going to try and do that for a few seconds. Hold. Back down again. Open your toes, hold, and then back down again. Open your toes, hold, back down again. And that one is one you can do a few times a day. It's a, it's a really difficult one to do after the first couple of days, and you might be free, quite frightened about doing it, quite fearful. But uh, once you do it once, you'll actually find it's, it's a good exercise and it's not that difficult. But it's maybe one for a few days after you come in a plaster. So do that, maybe you need to do five, maybe maximum ten times. Okay, so the next one then. 
this one where it's worthwhile. Well, usually what I do is just get the start my thing and then work on this one. So get your bottom ankle for the first one, go out of the way. Now what you're going to do is push that one forward, so bend the knee of the, of the ankle, of the, of the bottom ankle, and push forward, you start feeling the strain in the calf here, and hold that for about 30 seconds. So hold that like that, keep pushing and keep both feet pointing forward, then relax after 30, and then go again. So front, front leg is bent, the, the back leg is straight. <coughs> then move it, change over, and do it the other way around. Let me go a bit closer. So this knee bends and the back leg is going straight. So it, it, it strains different muscles on the bottom ankle by doing both ways. So 30 seconds, off, relax, and then another 30 seconds. So you do maybe two to each of those. Then a very similar exercise, same idea again, only this time, let me just put these up and see better, is that both, you bend both knees, so the front and the back knee bends. So you this, and always foot flat on the floor, always flat on the floor, not shooting my eyes. So push down and hold. I'm actually feeling a lot of thing on the bottom ankle here, right along the foot, across the ankle, the satin up to the calf. So hold that for 30 seconds, off. And again, down again, bend both knees, try and keep the legs as straight as possible. 30 seconds again, and off. And then swap over, again bending again. So it's more difficult because this is like, it's hard to get this one this way to get enough strain on this, it's actually doing any help. You know, this leg needs to, to keep working, so try and get that calf working as much as possible also. So again, same exercise last time, just keep the keep the both knees bent and keep doing 30 seconds off, another 30 seconds off again. So you're basically doing two minutes of that exercise with a bent knee and two minutes on the other exercise with straight. 30 seconds, one leg, relax, same on that leg, then you switch legs and do it again. Do uh, so it's basically four repetitions with the knee bent and then four repetitions with the, the straight leg. Okay, so I get the next one. Oh, we don't need the the time on it. It's maybe good time. You use the watch as much as possible, but some exercises you really are better keeping the 30 seconds. Most of them just hold and release, but that one protective throw. This one here is that the wobble board. Um, get the, the first leg on, get the pressure, and then and then you can move the, the other leg up. So this one, don't, certainly don't do this on day one or day two, maybe a few days into your, your rehab before you start doing this exercise. And really, what this does is first of all, it's going to move your ankle this way, like that. And this doesn't work for you. And then we're going to turn the board around and we're going to go the ankle forward and back like that. This one is quite tough for the first day or two. But believe me, it does get easier. And it's actually probably the best exercise I do. So once you get used to it, really, really is good. So clean if you want to just come up and sort of test So what I'm trying to do here, and I'm stuck at the day one, is to try and keep the try and bend this knee as much as possible when you're doing this. So the ankle's doing the work. So bend, bend. So the first day I did this, I did about 10 repetitions, just back and forwards. Now I can go up to maybe 30, 40, 50. And I'll we'll, we'll move up to about 100 of those as I, as I get more and more strength in, in the right ankle. <coughs> but this one demands you put more weight on the, the bad ankle, so it's a really, really good exercise. So when you finish that one, keep on the good foot, get the crutches, <coughs> and then come off the board. Okay, and then I'm going to show you how this is the slow bit, and then turn the board around to be the next bit. Okay, so this one then, this one on first, and then the battery up to the top. Okay, so 
they may be again. But push and try and bend the knee as much as possible. You might not be able to do this the first day or two, but it's time to zone, you will be able to do it. Bend. So you're trying to get the ankle to do as much work as possible. So if Kayla looks up at me, what we're trying to do with that is we're trying to go that way this time, get the ankle up and down. <laughs> so those two actually aren't too bad. The next one is the one I really hate. But I don't know why. It puts more pressure on so the bottom ankles at the back this time. Same thing again. It puts a lot of strain on the calf. Was fine. I find it quite sore still, but it's good, it's a good thing to get into. Try that one. And as many as you can do, you can maybe start off with 10, even 5 the first time you do it, then try to go to 10 of each of those 10 repetitions. So then as you finish, push back on the good foot, get your two feet together, or somebody's right there and you can with this, and then come off to the side. You just need to be careful because that board. You can actually move when you take one foot off, so you just need to be really careful. You could do yourself an injury. You want another injury you already have one. And the last one. It's just the old bicycle. Paddle exercise. On this one, all I do is cycle. Keep on again, that's, that's getting the ankle moving. We'll see that a little bit. First time again, you're actually quite worried about doing it, but it's a really, really good exercise. And what I would try to do is do that twice a day for about five minutes. So, as you can see, we've gone through quite a lot of exercises every day. I would build up. And build up so build up towards these over the past few days. All in they probably take about 30 minutes. But the more you, if you could do them all two or three times a day, you're really going to benefit. But even worst case, if you did it once a day, it's really really going to be good for you. And then you really start to get the benefit when you walk also. But when you start off, don't overdo it, do as much as you can, and each day challenge yourself to do a few more. So maybe start off with five. Well, at this one, maybe two minutes, then three minutes, then four, then five, or maybe you can go straight into five minutes, but just do what you're able to do. And that's it. You hear about gym circuit, this is my circuit, that's who not to say it's gym circuit, but believe me, when you finish it, it it's as tiring as any other circuit you're going to do. Great thing about this, it, it really does help as far as the ankle goes. Hopefully, that's been useful for you, and really, that's me for the day.